Hello, ladies and you know who. Welcome back to my daily motion channel. Today is a part two of everything, or rather, things I would have killed to know in college. So the previous one in high school, things I would have killed to know in high school, if you haven't watched that, that went really viral. You guys really enjoyed it. And I'm here with another banger, college university edition. I say that this one is actually a lot more important because college, it can break your bank. Let's just say that. And it can also waste a lot of time in your life and you don't necessarily need to go to college. I really, really wish I knew these things in college and if I could go back in time, I would have definitely implemented all of this stuff. So take some notes. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment. And also you guys, my en route collection is now out. Look at the phone case. This is one of the phone cases, but yeah, link will be below. Ich liebe dich, hope you enjoy the video. You do not need a university degree and I don't recommend going to university unless you absolutely have to. We're going to get into more reasons later on, but to keep it brief, only go to university if you really need that degree. Like you want to become a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer and you actually have to go to school for it. If you want to be like a computer scientist, a coder, you literally can learn that skill yourself. Especially if you want to go into business or you want to be an entrepreneur. Some people go to like entrepreneurial school and like get an entrepreneur's degree. Like what the fuck is that bruh? The way you're going to learn is to go out there and get into the field. I really recommend not going to university unless you have to because well, you're just going to have to watch the rest of the video. You will definitely, most likely, change degrees. Because how can you be expected in high school to know what you're going to do? They expect you to know yourself so well that you're going to be able to pick the perfect degree and then have a career in that for the rest of your life. Like, it doesn't work like that. When I was 18, I wanted to be a film director. I went into university doing a film degree and then I changed to psychology. Do I even want to be a psychologist? No. But if you know what you want to do, good. But the point is, you don't know who you are, therefore you don't really know what you truly, truly want and you're most likely going to change degrees. And that's why I don't really recommend going to university. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's not the rest of that argument. You're just going to have to watch the video. Number three. You don't have to go to university immediately right after high school. There is so much pressure, I think, to not take a gap year. Or if you do take a gap year, you can only do one year or two years. And beyond that, well, just don't go to college. You know, there's that stigma, in my opinion. And you can feel a lot of pressure to go to college immediately. Otherwise, you feel like you're going to miss out. The truth is, in college, there's going to be 40-year-olds in your class. Like, it's not abnormal to have middle-aged students there. And it just goes to show that you can really go at any time. Also, I really recommend after high school, take a few years to work and to travel and to really like find out what you want because that is the only way you're going to know what degree you truly want to do or if you even want to go into uni. There are so many other ways of making money and uni is really not the be all end all. Like personally, in what I do, I do not need my university degree and I don't think I will ever need it. So realistically, you can take a couple of years off if you want to, even if you want to be a lawyer. In the grand scheme of things, a couple of years in your career is not going to hurt you. Like if you're a doctor, you're already going to spend 14 years or however long in school. A couple of years more is not going to hurt you. I mean, at least you get to live your life a little bit more before succumbing to the study pressure and the work pressure you're going to face for the rest of your life. Hey, <laughs> sorry. Because you're studying so much you might not actually have time to get a job and because we talked about the whole you don't really know who you are in uni there's not a lot of time to get to know yourself if you're studying that much i really recommend doing a part-time degree and in the meantime you get a full-time job or a part-time job whatever you can handle and then you do your degree on the side don't get sucked into the party lifestyle this is especially if you're an american don't give in to the peer pressure of having to go and drink every weekend with your friends and you know that's not really going to get you anywhere every now and then it's okay but you don't want to be destroying your liver and your health don't forget when you drink it stays in your body for quite a while so it actually affects your concentration and your productivity for the upcoming days. So be smart about it. And I know it's really hard to find friends in college that don't want to drink, but they are definitely out there. Like maybe go hang out at the library. <laughs> Here's a tip to make friends in uni. It is really, really easy to make friends, especially in the first couple of weeks, like orientation week, because everyone 
wants to make new friends everyone wants to meet new people everyone is in the same boat so they're all feeling a little bit nervous just like you university i'm gonna find myself i'm gonna chill i'm gonna have fun meet new people yes all of that but you have to know that your career actually starts the moment you begin university and you will see it especially if you go to a competitive school the school i went to people were 18 19 working at google and i went to school in sydney now my hometown in perth it's very normal for people in uni 20 22 years old to be working at a cafe still there's nothing wrong with that but when you go to a bigger city i found the students there they're already working in corporate and they're getting internships it's very ruthless there's only a limited number of positions in the field you want available you're competing with all those people so you need to do everything you can to level up also you're not going to have time to figure out who you are like i said you will be so busy with school that sometimes you can't even think properly from my experience i don't have i didn't have time to think about who am i really what do i really want to do because i had a million deadlines and readings to do at the same time it wasn't until i went part-time at uni where i was able to figure out what i actually wanted to do if you really are lost don't feel pressure to go into uni you're seriously much better off not going with the herd and going and doing your own thing, learning skills, traveling and figuring out what you want. You're also going to save a lot of money that way because imagine you go to uni, you do your three, four years, you figure out, hey, I don't actually want to do this degree and I've already been here for two years. Do I continue for another two or do I just drop out midway through and you've already spent all that money and now you're in debt? Like seriously, take a couple of years off. I didn't actually learn that much from college. I did a psychology and marketing, de marketing degree. I was actually previously in the marketing field earlier on in my life because I was working in startups and I was doing my own business stuff related to marketing. So I felt like marketing really didn't teach me a lot. Everything from psychology you could have learned from YouTube. Obviously, if you want to be a psychologist, then you kind of have to go to uni. There's no way around it. If you can learn it from the internet, learn it from the internet. So know that if you're going into a degree where there's no end goal, aka if you're doing medicine, the end goal is to be a doctor or something in the field, right? But for example, if you're in a psychology degree and your end goal is not to be a psychologist, you can be in like pretty much any other field. Your degree is very open-ended like that. There's a high chance you actually don't have to go to uni. With that being said, I learned the most in uni through myself as opposed to to classes like do I remember the high level statistics I did one year ago no you need to use this time to connect with other people the person you're sitting next to literally could be the CEO of a future billion dollar company that's a connection right there your professor is going to have so many contacts in the field you want to work in go and talk to literally everybody and make friends with everyone majors and minors I don't know the difference between them still, like genuinely, I know major majors are a huge thing in America, but in Australia, we don't talk about majors. We talk about our overarching degree. Mine is a Bachelor of Psychological Sciences majoring in marketing. So Americans are like to me, what's your major? And I'm like, marketing. They're like, oh, so you did a marketing degree? I'm like, no, I did a psychology degree. So I don't know the difference, but what I will tell you, for my Australians especially, usually you can major in something under your degree. For example, I majored in marketing. And what it means is it takes your electives and your general and your general education courses and it replaces it with marketing or whatever other major you want. For example, in psychology, you could have done neuroscience, uh, like optometry, biology, you could have majored in those and a bunch of other ones, but I chose marketing. And it's really good to do that because it also broadens your job horizons. My first ever marketing job, they hired me because they liked that it was paired with psychology. But obviously, if you're applying to marketing with just a psychology degree, sure, you may get the job, but the person with marketing in their degree is going to be favored because it's just like a unique combination. So have a look at your degree and see if that's an option because every university is seriously so different. No one cares about your SAT score your AP scores, or my Australians, your ATAR. No one cares about it, especially if you're going to a high ranking school. Everyone has an ATAR over 90, baby. No one cares that you got a 99.95 ATAR. No one cares that you got a 1600 on your SATs. If you talk about it, you're probably gonna look like a dickhead. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, no one cares. 
no one cares. Don't be afraid to do things alone in uni. It's so common to see people eating lunch alone, walking around alone, going to a college party alone. It's totally normal. I highly recommend you doing it. And you, you know, you're literally an adult now. Get used to doing things alone. Join as many clubs as possible because you're going to get insider connections and you're just gonna meet a lot of people and it's good to have a social life. Also, you can put those clubs onto your resume. Get a therapist during college and a lot of unis, they offer free counseling. So I really wish I took advantage of this because when I was 18, I was very, very depressed because I was so lost. And you're so young at that age. I don't think I had the life skills or the mental strength to be able to handle everything. And I just really didn't know how to navigate life. And I was doing it all alone and I didn't want to get a therapist because I was like, oh, they're not going to understand me. But seriously, guys, just do it. Get a therapist, use better help talked about it in my last therapy video go watch it i ended up getting a therapist in my final year at uni literally half a year before i graduated and it was just really nice to have someone to talk to every two weeks and genuinely care about how you're going and seriously like hold your hand through things i really regret not getting a therapist in my first year of uni because then i would have been with her for a couple of years like she would have been with me through everything and college is a really tough time so take advantage of any free services that your school offers, whether it's the gym or therapy or whatever like classes are being offered. Okay guys, that is everything I wish I would have known in college. Follow your own path, forge it out, okay? If you want to be in the 1%, you can't care about what the 99% of other people are doing, okay? Don't forget to use my link below to get $5 off your first month of the Chegg Study Pack. It's only $20 a month, but it is a huge investment into yourself and your career and your grades. So, ich liebe dich. Don't forget to like this video. Also, if I'm no longer coming up on your homepage, make sure you unsubscribe and then you resubscribe, okay? Like this video on root collection should be out by now actually. Anyways, love you guys. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando.